I'm Nillette Langford, the executive producer of The Real Praise. We have another special guest. Hello, Sharon Spikes. How are you today? I'm blessed. How are you, Nanette? Thank you. I'm well. Tell us, what brings you to The Real Praise? What do you do? Well, actually, I am a tour guide. By, I actually own a company called The Audits Project. We are an um, educational training company that specializes in um, preserving African-American heritage and cultures through tours educational materials and publications and entrepreneurship. So um, currently we have a contract with the Independence Visitor Center to provide African American Heritage Walking Tours here in Philadelphia, which we have three tours. One's called um, The Sights and Sounds of Philadelphia. Uh, the other one is the Philadelphia Underground Network as well as um, African Americans and Native American history. I moved here to Philadelphia from the Midwest and got here and just overwhelmed with the amount of history okay. that I found just touring the city and noticed that there was a lot of tours. Um, you can almost walk anywhere in Philadelphia and hear about the, the black history. But I think that for me, I think it's really important for our history to be told. I think part of our problem with our young people is that they don't have a connection with the history. And I just find that we don't know a lot about our culture. Yes. A lot of times we have a lot of negativity, but we don't hear all the contributions that we made as it relates to the establishment of our societies. So. Uh, one of the things we're conditioned to be taught certain things and what they're being taught may not be necessarily their roots and their heritage. Mm -hmm. And I think what, what you're doing, it gives them the opportunity to explore that. Right. To actually find right. out exactly what is their roots. Right. Give them something to broaden their horizon. My whole walk with the Lord, too, is to be able to touch people, too. I Amen. think people need to be loved. Uh, people need to be encouraged. I believe that God has graced me in that. Okay. Through the things that I've gone through with him to understand, to be sensitive to me. Okay. Um, being in Philly, I, I think God has really um, orchestrated my steps. Um, when I look at where I was, where I'm at today, okay. um, I'm a lot more focal point, more purpose driven. Yes. And understanding that the things that I do, um, there's a divine purpose, there's a purpose in it. One of the things I like to um, say, God is love. And he loves you right where you are. All you need to do is just go to him, let him know how you feel. He will meet your need. The real praise will be right back. And at that time, we'll have God's word for today. Thank you. I will be reading God's word for today from the New Living Translation Bible, Psalms chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader and the hearer of his holy words. Welcome back to The Real Praise. Sharon, are there any encouraging words that you would like to leave with our viewers? I think it's really important for uh, you to just trust what you know, uh, trust your own strength, your own ability, your own knowledge, and trust God. Amen. 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 And with that, I want to say thank you for uh, viewing The Real Praise. We want to thank you once again, Sharon, for being a part of The Real Praise with all of your encouragement, your wisdom. And we just ask that you will continue to trust God. Allow him to order your steps. And remember, faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of God. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for being a guest. Thanks for all praise. You're welcome.